What is happening, Crocodile? My name is Dre, and welcome back to another video. If you're into some cool outfit photos, some coffee, some coffee brewing, some geeky stuff, or generally just some wacky stuff, then do follow me on my Instagram that's at Just Plain Dre, and I'll be leaving a link in the description box below. And if you're not subscribed yet, come on, man, why aren't you subscribed yet? Scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and then click that little notification bell so you can be updated every time I upload a new video. And on today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on one of the most popular budget manual coffee grinders, the Time More C2. Now, quick little disclaimer, when I say budget, I do mean budget in its category, that being more on the more premium manual coffee grinders. And of course, by premium, I do mean you get better build quality, better materials, and as opposed to ceramic burrs, you do get stainless steel burrs, which of course the Time More C2 also has. And compared to the price range of a lot of the other coffee grinders in this category, the Time More C2 definitely is on the more budget range. Some of those other grinders being the Comandante, the Kinu grinder, and a bunch of other ones. And a lot of those more premium coffee grinders can range from 15,000 pesos plus, or around $300 and up. And considering that the Time War C2 only goes for about 3,000 pesos or around $60, there definitely is a pretty big price difference. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Time War C2's build quality, overall aesthetic, and of course, the most important part, performance. So with all that being said, let's get into the review. First, let's talk about overall build and aesthetics. The Time War C2 does come in a couple of different variations. There's an all white one and three other ones with the only difference being the color of the plastic parts. There's a black, a blue, and a red. As you can see right here, I did get the red one, mainly because it matches my V60, and generally because I just like red. The body itself is made out of aluminum in this dark silver color, and it does have a textured surface, which besides aesthetics, I think is also intended for better grip, which does kind of work, and I do like the feel of it, but I can definitely see how this could possibly be a little bit uncomfortable for some people. In terms of weight, it definitely does have some heft to it. Definitely one of the first few things I noticed when taking it out of the box, and it really does feel like a quality piece, especially coming from one of these grinders. Now, don't get me wrong, it did a good job for a long time, and I was able to make some pretty good coffee with it, but it is nice to finally be able to upgrade. Now, you do get some plastic parts with this grinder, the stabilizers on the inside here are plastic, along with the adjusting knob here, the knob on the handle, and the lid of the grinder as well. Now, I know this might be a con for some people, but for me, I don't really mind, since the plastic parts do feel well-made and sturdy, and in regular use, don't really experience excessive force at all, and not to mention it does add a little bit of aesthetic and flair to the grinder as well. And then for the grounds container, it twists off just like this. Capacity-wise, it holds about 25 to 30 grams of coffee. And then on the bottom here, you just get the Time More logo. Now the handle, like I said, is where you'll find your pop of color. You get the red plastic on the knob here and on the lid. The handle is permanently attached to the lid, which honestly, I don't really know how I feel about since if you are planning on traveling with it or storing this with the handle detached, then you are gonna have to take off the whole thing. Then you'd be left with the grinder without a lid. Now, personally, I just have my grinder out in my setup anyways, so it really isn't much of a concern for me, but something I just figured I should mention. When it comes to build quality though, like I said, you do get plastic for the knob, and the lid, and then you get stainless steel for the bar over here. The handle itself does have a pretty ergonomic shape and also does look pretty good in my opinion, so no problems there at all. The knob does feel pretty securely attached. It isn't detachable, so don't go around trying to pull this thing off. And it also does spin pretty freely and really smoothly as well. Attaching it to the grinder, you do get a pretty decent fit. Not super loose, but definitely not snug. It will for sure fall off if you tip the grinder over. As you can see, it's pretty easy to put it on and put it off right here. So generally, when handling the grinder, I just find myself holding down the lid as well. Operation-wise, it spins super smoothly, mainly because of the ball bearings on the inside. Definitely a really good experience. I really really do like how smoothly this thing spins. Now for the burrs, you do get 38 millimeter stainless steel burrs, which are on the more aggressive side in terms of design, which does lend to the speed of this grinder. Generally, I do like the look and feel of the Time More C2. It has a very kind of industrial vibe, which I like, looks and feels nice in the hand, and definitely does fit the aesthetic of my setup, which is a definite plus. Now when it comes to adjusting your grind size, don't forget to keep the lid on and hold it in place, otherwise the adjustment knob will just spin freely. As you can see here, you get coarse and fine, and then some dots to indicate grind size or grind setting. To set your preferred grind setting, first put the grinder to its finest setting, then to get to your preferred setting, count your clicks as you go coarser from there. There is a small indent here on the red plastic as well that does line up with the lines on this metal portion, and this will help you keep track of how many clicks you've done. 
Once you've gotten to your preferred grind setting, it's time to grind. And man, is this thing fast. At 15 clicks and a moderate grinding pace, I was able to grind 16 grams of coffee in about 45 seconds. And in coarser settings, you can almost get to one second per one gram of coffee, which is absolutely crazy. Grinding with the Time War C2 is definitely a pleasant experience. And you can really feel how quickly those burrs go through those beans. And you'll know you're done once you reach the point where it starts to free spin smoothly again. I will say though that sometimes when grinding, I don't know if it's just how I hold it, but sometimes the container does loosen up a little bit from the body, but I just tighten it right up and then adjust my grip a little bit higher on the grinder. Now I will say that from my experience, I have occasionally experienced a retention of about 0.2 grams. And again, not always, but just to be safe, I always just add 0.2 grams to my coffee measurement. And with that being said, I also do get some ground stuck to the bottom here and in the container. And this is where I find the included cleaning brush to be really handy as I can also use it to get these grounds off the grinder and into my V60. Speaking of grounds, this is what 16 clicks looks like from this grinder. It's a little bit on the finer side of medium, kind of what I've been using at the moment for my pour over. For the most part, you do get a pretty darn uniform grind. Although of course you will still get a little bit of those fines here and there, but you'll definitely be able to make some great coffee with this thing. Overall, I really like this grinder. From the build quality to the overall user experience, I think it's great. For a budget grinder in this category, I definitely think that the Time War C2 is a great option. Be you somebody who already has experience with coffee brewing and just want to upgrade from your ceramic burr grinder to a stainless steel one, or somebody who's just getting into it and want a good quality grinder to start with. But hey, if you do have the budget for the more expensive ones and those have features or specific features that you're looking for, then by all means, go for it. But for those who are just looking for a good quality grinder with stainless steel burrs and one that performs well so that you can make a great cup of coffee without having to pay an arm and a leg, then the Time War C2 might just be the one for you. And that about does it for my review on the Time War C2. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope I was able to give you some inspiration or some ideas if the Time War C2 is something that you might wanna pick up. And if you did like the video, then do smack that like button. It really does help me out a lot. And I'm not just saying that, it really does help me out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. Take a couple of seconds, scroll down and click that like button. If you know anybody else who would like my stuff, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your brother, your sister, your lola, your lola, your tita, your tita, or anybody else who you think would like my stuff, then do share my stuff to them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay creative, keep making it. Until next time, see you later, crocodile.